If you are a romantic person, you know that romanticism isn't only about feelings and love. It's also about nature. When somebody's hurt or going through heartache, for example, why is it highly recommended for those desperate people to go somewhere where nature is in abundance? This is simply because nature has an invincible power in healing spiritual wounds. Nature purifies the soul and contemplating it refresh the mind and recharges the energy. Does nature do all of that? You might believe that it doesn't play a role in boosting your mood. However, this isn't true because nature is already a reflection of your inner thoughts and vibes. It's mirroring your mood. Sometimes it's the best remedy for your frustration and helplessness. But what do we do in return? Demolish it? You'll be sorry for cutting down trees and neglecting nature when you watch our video story. Because there is a new discovery that conveys that trees have feelings. Vegetarians need to watch this as well and tell us what they think. Be sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Well, maybe it's comprehensible to say that trees have feelings. But guess what? Trees create bonds of friendship too. Say what? Yes, this is what Peter Wollenben, a forestry specialist, discovered. Trees have emotions and feelings. They experience happiness, sadness, fear, pain, and love. Oh my God! Trees are present in our life almost everywhere, in the city, in the streets, on the beach, and in parks and gardens, of course. They are just there in different shapes, types, and sizes. A lot of trees capture our attention because of their beauty and uniqueness. So, we all agree that trees decorate any place they are found in. Moreover, trees also help in fixing the climate. What do you usually do if you're walking in the street on a very sunny day? You go and stand under a tree's shade to catch your breath and rest a bit. Do you realize how important and essential trees are for purifying the air? Do you know that trees filter the air from all the filth and pollution caused by cars and factories? It is sad that we know, but we stand passive in front of the over-exploitation of nature. Industrialization is the main reason in destroying nature to make profit. The problem is serious because several plants and trees are one step closer to extinction. Some trees stopped growing at all. Peter Wollenben is a German expert who wrote a book about trees' behaviors. His book, The Secret Life of Trees, unraveled a lot of mysteries and indeed the book gained fame. He believes that we know very little about trees and that trees are way smarter than we think. Do they have brains then? He adds that trees are like human beings. They feel like us, whether happy, sad, safe, endangered, scared, or affectionate. What is more, trees can make friendships with other trees and they care about their well-being. So they are good friends, aren't they? Now wait for a surprise. He is sure that trees actually can produce things that are just like our heartbeats. Excuse me? Yes, don't be puzzled. Here's why. Dr. Andrus Zlinski, a specialist in biosciences at the University of Aarhus, which is located in Denmark, revealed a study that indicated that some trees could move their branches during the night, and they pump sugar and water to the rest of the tree to keep it alive. The mechanism is somehow very slow, and it isn't easy for biologists to detect the process since it happens one time only every two hours. What made them so sure of their conclusion? The biologists are so sure because when they observed the process, they made the correct preparations that would guarantee accurate results. For example, the study was carried out late at night in addition to keeping the trees sheltered in order to prevent the impact of wind or any external natural interference. Isn't that cool and at the same time agonizing? It's cool because we now know something new about trees, but it's melancholic to know that they feel yet they are taken advantage of and cut off to take their wood and their leaves to make papers and so on and so forth. It is hard to think that we are terrorizing trees and freaking them out by our axes. We now should draw our attention to saving nature because the more we destroy it, the more it will turn against us and conspire against us. One word, global warming will take revenge. After watching this video, tell us in the comments how do you think we can save trees and Mother Nature from man's interference? 
vegetarians. Plants turned out to have feelings too like us and like animals. Does that ring a bell? Well, don't take it seriously. No offense, I'm just kidding. In a nutshell, saving trees will save the planet.